Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a review on the LMD products. A lot of you wanted to see this. I got so many messages when the brushes came out and the palette came out for a review and I am here today to give you that. So Louise kindly gifted me with the brushes over Christmas. So a lot of you had seen that and had been messaging me asking me what I thought of them. So I thought I may as well do a video and also use the palette. I think every man, woman and child has bought this palette and if you didn't buy it, you got it for Christmas. So I really wanted to do a review on it. I actually haven't used this palette so this is going to kind of be a first impressions. I bought this for my sister so I really want to try it out and see how I get on with it. And obviously I don't really need to say this but I am not getting paid nor have I been asked by Louise to post any of this. I'm just doing this out of my own will just to help you guys and let you know what I think of them. And another thing I wanted to say to you guys before before I get into this is that I started this channel and I had told myself when I started it that I will always stay true to myself and to my opinions on products, on brands, whatever it may be. I will always stay true and give you my God's honest opinion because I really want you guys to trust me and I want my loyalty to be with you guys. I don't care how big the brand is or how small the brand is. If they send me products, I'm gonna give my honest review and if I buy products, I'm gonna give my honest review. I think makeup is so huge at the minute and everything is pretty expensive so I want you guys to trust my word with things and if you are going to go out and spend money on things I want to be 100% sure that I've recommended something that's going to work for you and I know my opinion on some products may be different to other people's opinions. At the end of the day this is my channel and without you guys watching there would be no point to it and I love 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 doing this so much and I just want this to be a really truthful raw honest channel so sit back get a cup of coffee because this is going to be a long one i'm going to do my full face and i hope you enjoy so the first thing i'm going to do is my brows i have an in-depth brow tutorial on my channel so i will link that down below go check it out if you haven't already it kind of goes through all the products that i love and how i actually do my brows i'm going to do it quite quick here and run through it okay so i'm going to go in with the anastasia beverly hills brow gel you know the drill with that if you've watched my tutorial and I'm just combing through the brow hairs so before I actually go in with my brows I'm going to show you the brushes okay so there's 10 brushes here and they retail at $69.99 so I'm going to go in with the eyebrow brush first okay so this is the eyebrow brush Firstly, I want to say I absolutely appreciate the two-sided brush. I love the fact that there's a spoolie on one side. If you've watched my brow tutorial, you will know that I love using a mascara wand to create a soft brow. So with this brush, I am just using, again, my brow gel, my aqua brow gel. And I'm just putting that on both sides. And then I'm going to tighten up this brush. This brush is slightly thicker than my Zoeva one. So I like to just tighten it up tighten up the bristles with my fingers and that brow gel just helps stick them all together and that'll get me a nice tight brush. So basically I have just lined the base line and it's given me a really nice sharp base and this brush has made it very easy because it is so sharp. So I definitely think it's a great brush. When it comes to your brows, it's all about your brush guys. So make sure you have a nice sharp one. Okay, so I went and finished my brows off camera. So go check out the tutorial if you really wanna see how I done my brows. I done the exact same steps and used the exact same products. And now we're gonna get into the exciting part, which is the eyeshadows. Okay, so this is the palette right here. The shadows are absolutely ideal. Like this is the perfect palette for the likes of a brown smoky eye, adding a bit of warmth to it, adding a tiny bit of red, a more cranberry eye. You literally have everything there to create so many different kind of neutral looks. And it's also handy just to have all those different shades in the one palette for traveling. And I don't know about you, but the shade Louise is calling my name. So that's gonna have to be incorporated into something today. Okay, so with the brush set, we have four different eye brushes, which is great because you need a selection of brushes when it comes to your eyes. So I like to have multiple blending brushes, which are here, a flat brush, and then a smaller kind of bullet brush just for underneath the eye. So that's great, it covers everything in there. So these are the four brushes and I'll talk through them as I go along. So we're gonna go in with the brush 03 first, which is a bigger, kind of fluffier brush. So this one will be great to start off your transitional colors. And we're gonna dip into the shade Peachy. So 
So I'm now going to go in with this brush. This one is 05 and I'm just going to soften out the edges of that shadow. Then back in with Peachy just to strengthen that up. I really like these two brushes. They're really nice and soft and they blend really well. Now we're gonna dip into the shade Tiger. And using the same 03 brush, we're just building that into the crease just to strengthen up that crease and make it a wee bit more deep. And they're a wee bit more dusty, which I kind of like. Just come back in and strengthening that up again after I have smoothed it out with the 05 brush. Just build it up to whatever strength you want with that color. But always make sure you soften it out. That's why I like to have that extra blending brush just to make sure everything is perfectly blended. Now we're gonna go in with the shade Louise. Using the same 03 brush, we're just gonna add that wee bit more vibrancy into the crease and bringing that slightly upwards. I don't want to go too crazy today because I know the majority of people using this palette won't want me to do something crazy. They'll want to see something that they would actually wear so I wanted to go a wee bit softer. So far all the shadows are really nice and pigmented. They're quite like Elamasca shadows where they're a wee bit more powdery which is why you get a tiny bit of fallout but it's all about managing what's on your brush and making sure that you don't go in with too much product because that will lead to fallout. I'm now using the brush 04 just to soften out. This is a tiny bit smaller and more dense. It's kind of like a bullet brush, only it's slightly bigger than your normal bullet brush. Okay, so we're now gonna go in with the shade Coco, which is a nice light kind of brown tone. I just wanna add this into the crease nice and lightly just to add a bit more dimension to the eye, but I don't wanna take away from that redness. So I want to go a wee bit more soft with my brownie tone, which is why I'm going to make cocoa because it's a softer brown in the palette. Okay, so as you can see, there's just a slight wee bit of fallout, which I don't really care about. It means there's a nice pigmentation in the shadows. So just be wary if you are doing your base beforehand because you'll be a wee bit more free if you don't have your base on and you can go a wee bit more heavy with your product. Now I'm just sharpening that up, but I'm not actually going to leave it like that. I'm going to wait till I do my base and soften that out a wee bit more. But so far, I really, really like those shadows. They're so pigmented and they're really soft and they blend really, really well. So I'm very impressed. And the buildup of color was very good too. So yeah, this eye is still watering. Anyone that gets leaky eyes will know the struggle. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Smoky for underneath my eye just to strengthen that up a wee bit. And I'm using that 04 brush. For the likes of underneath the eye, I do think that the bullet brush could be slightly smaller, but I really like this one for softening up above the eye as well. So it is good for both, but I think a smaller brush sometimes just gets you a wee bit more definition under the eyes. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my 03 brush and back in with the shade Louise. And just take that underneath. Now I'm gonna go in with my base and everything anyway and redo this, so I'm not really being too particular about it. I'm just softening underneath, just so you can get a wee bit more of an idea, so you're not thinking, what the hell is she doing right now? So I'm gonna go in with a brown pencil, just for the waterline. I don't wanna go too dark, but I don't wanna go really bright either, because I don't really suit a brightness in there. I sometimes do it just to be a wee bit more experimental, but I prefer to have some form of darkness in there, and I don't wanna go black, so I'm gonna go brown with a brown pencil. This one is OCC and it is the shade Sybil. It's actually a lip liner but it works really good for your eyes as well. I'm actually going in with a smaller Zoeva bullet brush just to get a wee bit more definition around the lash line, a wee bit more darkness there. So I'm going to go in with a bit of fix spray and spray that onto my lid just to add a bit of dampness so the eyeshadows will cling to it better. And I'm now going in with the 02 brush, which is a flat brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Rusty.
Once I've applied that pigment, I'm just using the brush 03 just to soften that out because I don't want it to be harsh. I just want it to be nice and soft. Okay, so I like the softness of the eye, but I'm not sure if I need a wee bit more darkness. So I'm going to go do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so both eyes are starting to play up. They're getting really, really watery, but I'm going to keep going and try my hardest to push through this. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Louise and just pat that into the corner of the lid. I'm just patting and wiggling the brush just to bring strength there and make it really, really solid, the color. And I'm gonna do the same with Coco. And I'm actually gonna use a Louise Young brush and go in with the darker brown, which is called Smokey, and bring that into the corner as well. Oh my God, my eyes are watering so bad. This is so upsetting. Now we're gonna use Fix Spray and I'm gonna spray again. And we're gonna in with the shade Loyal, which is a goldy tone. And we're just gonna press that down. Okay, so right now what we're gonna do is ignore these two eyes and move on to the base and hopefully by the time we get that finished, the eyes will be settled and ready to be worked on. Okay, so today I'm gonna use two primers, both from Makeup Forever. This one is a smoothing primer, so I'm only gonna apply that down the T-zone just for open pores or anything like that. And this one is a hydrating primer and I'm gonna apply that around the outsides of the face. I actually just applied that smoother over them two little parts where the leaky eye is just to see if that helps soothe it a wee bit more and works as a base on top of that damp area. Maybe it'll just mattify it down a wee bit. Who knows, let's just give it a try anyway. So we're gonna go in with the foundation brush, which is the number eight. I quite like this one because it's a wee bit smaller than your average duo fiber brush. So it means you'll get in around the nose area and around in between the eyebrows and everything that wee bit easier. And I'm using Makeup Studio Face It Light in Golden Olive. Yeah, so my skin is quite dry at the minute. It's just down to the weather. The weather is so bad here at the minute. It's snowing. And I have been trapped in this house for three days straight. And I think I'm gonna go and see him at this point. I just need some hot weather and to be in a bikini because I'm just over the coldness. And I'm just using a beauty blender just to soften out obvious okay so for concealer I'm gonna use makeup forever number one full cover concealer this here is waterproof so I feel like this is the best option for these leaky eyes and I'm just gonna use a beauty blender for this because I need to be quite careful Just softening the edges of that eyeshadow just to make it a wee bit more blown out rather than being sharp. I kind of do my under eyes just a tiny bit before I do my base just so I can get kind of a guide on what way the eyes are kind of turning out. So then I'll redo it after the base which is why I've went quite far up with my concealer. Okay so then we're going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. This one is in the shade. Yeah I'm going to let you have a little look at that because it is too long to pronounce. And yeah, I love this for cream contour and it's my fave. So I'm gonna go in with the number seven brush. This is my favorite brush out of the whole set. I just think it's so kind of versatile. You can use it to cream contour. You can use it to set underneath the eyes. You can use it to buff in the foundation. It's just an all rounder kind of brush and I love the size of it. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the number nine powder brush. And I really like this one as well because it's not as big as your average powder brush. So you can get in under the eyes and you can set the whole face. And as well, you can contour really well because it's a wee bit more defined. So I'm going in with Makeup Studio Natural Silk Perfection and I'm just going in under the eyes and around the nose and T-zone and anywhere where a bigger brush won't hit as well. And just dabbing that in. Because my foundation is a cream foundation, it's really important that you set it well or it will definitely wear off. 
Now I'm going to go in with the number 10 brush and I'm just going to set the rest of that face nice and lightly. This brush is lovely and soft. I would actually use this as well. I love these kind of brushes for foundation if you want to do it really, really quickly. I know it's quite big, but these are really handy for that. There's a similar one from Real Techniques. It's a pink one and it's really good for doing your foundation. Okay, so because number 10 is slightly too big for contour and blusher and everything, I'm really glad that they have number nine because it's really good for more defined work. So we're gonna go in with MAC Dark Deep and just strengthen up that contour again and add warmth to the face. So now we're gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Palette and we're gonna use the shade Breeze. I'm going to go in with shade 3 from the Sosu contour palette and I'm just going to brighten up under my eyes. Because I cream contoured with number 7, I'm actually going to use a brush quite similar to it. This is the Mini Powder by Senna and I'm just going to set that under the eyes just to brighten up that area. Okay, so now we're going to go in with highlighter and we're just going to spray with Fix Plus. And we're gonna go in with the Be Bold palette and we're gonna use the highlighter, which I am obsessed with. And we're gonna use the brush 06 to apply that. It's just a nice fluffy fan brush. I love this highlighter because it actually looks like your skin. It doesn't look like powder sitting on top of your skin. It just glides so nice and buttery onto your skin. So it actually looks like you just have really nice dewy skin. And just to go that little bit extra, I'm gonna use the Sparkling Dust in 01 by Inglot and just apply a tiny wee bit of that to the tip of the cheekbone. Just to make everything that little bit extra. Okay, so we're back to the dreaded part, the eyes. So I'm gonna try my best to get past these leaky eyes. So we're just gonna go quite soft underneath. So I'm gonna bring all those colors back underneath because I took them away with the concealer and we're just gonna smoke that out a wee bit more again. So I am just going in with Louise and I'm actually using the Louise Young brush. I don't wanna go in with anything too big under the eyes. I just wanna get my smokiness there very easily without making a mess. And the brush I can feel is wet already from the leaky eyes so I just need to be very careful. I haven't had leaky eyes in so long and I'm using the 05 just to soften out. I'm going in with the shade Smoky and I'm just going to dab on those little wet patches. I feel like if this was a normal video I wouldn't put this up because I wouldn't be happy with it but really I just want you to know what I think of the brushes and what I think of the palette so it's really about that more so than the eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with a little more shimmer because why the hell not at this point? Okay so I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Lash and just apply that to my lashes. I'm not even attempting liner today because that would be a seriously bad idea. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Lip Liner in Nighthawk. And I'm going to go in with an Urban Decay lipstick. This one is called Stark Naked. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with designer lashes. These ones are in the style Ivy. Guys, this eye. <sighs> okay, so these lashes look a little bit crazy. I need to darken up underneath a slight wee bit and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I'm not overly happy with it, but I mean, I have two leaky eyes, so I did the best I could. I still wanna post this video just because I want you to get an overall review on the palette, and this was my first time using it. I definitely wanna do a couple more videos doing a little bit more dramatic makeup, and just show you different styles that can be made with this palette, because there is so many shades in there that you could get loads of different looks out of. So this is kind of more, soft well my kind of soft i did go a little bit darker underneath the eyes because the lashes were a little bit much 
but overall I am really happy with the palette. The only thing I would say about the matte eyeshadows is that they are a little bit powdery. They're kind of like a La Masca shadows, so they fall slightly. So I would do the eyes before the base and then you've no worries. The shimmers come out a lot more intense when you spray some fix spray. So bear that in mind if you want a little bit more intensity with your shimmers. But overall for the price of this palette, it is definitely a really good buy. So the brushes overall, I am very happy with. I think it's a great price for 10 brushes. And the only extra brushes I used for this look was a few extra blending brushes. But I use a lot of blending brushes when I'm doing eye makeups just because I like to really soften it out with clean brushes. And I like more thin brushes just to get deeper into the crease and stuff. So overall, I think the brush set is brilliant and it has every brush you pretty much need. But I would add a couple more blending brushes if you are building up your brushes. I just think for me as an artist, I find I always use a lot of blending brushes when I'm doing my eyes. So two is never really enough for me. Other than that, I did use my beauty blender, but I definitely could have done without it. I could use all them brushes by themselves for my face and be totally fine. So yeah, apart from two little leaky eyes, I am good to go. I hope it helps you be a bit more experimental with your colors in your palette and I hope it helped you overall see how I would use the products. So that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again very soon. Bye!